everyone welcome back today we're going to be talking about how to get the bolt into your bolt carrier and into your Lynx 12. Uh, I did a video last night where I uh, basically did a 15,000 rounds inspection and cleaning posted that video and then after the video I tried to get this bolt bolt carrier to go into that Lynx 12 and it took me something like 20 to 30 minutes um, it started getting dark, it started snowing on me, my fingers started freezing. It is a pretty, cool, pretty difficult thing for me to do, okay? Now, uh, and, and that's the reason why I don't take this gun apart that often to clean. In 15,000 rounds, I think I've only cleaned it like maybe three or four times. I've only been inside this like five times. Every time I go into it, I have a really hard time getting this bolt to go into that carrier and then that carrier into this gun. So... Uh, you know, uh, last night, this morning, I decided, hey, let me try and get this down to a science um, and make a video for myself and for you guys, but also for myself. So I've got, in the, the next time I'm in here, I have something to reference back and I can remember um, how I got this bolt into the carrier and into the gun. Okay? Because, because I clean this gun so infrequently, every time I get in there, I kind of forget from the previous time, you know, what I did to get it in there. Okay, so let me bring the camera a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to see okay good all right so so here's the thing here's my bolt the bolt and the bolt carrier and uh when you look at this thing there's basically there's the the bottom part and then there's a the top part that spins like this over here right um now there is a pin that goes through here to hold these two parts together uh which did where is it i think it's that pin right no that's the extractor this pin right here uh one time that pin did fall out on me and uh it, basically if i had lost that pin the you know this thing is kind of useless on so so don't lose don't let this thing fall apart on you careful not to lose the pin so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bolt we're gonna put it into the hole over here and then this this piece over here right you see that part right there with the little with the little circle thing over there that's going to go there, and that's going to rotate all the way, like, looking out that way. Oops, hit the camera. That's going to rotate to the left, okay? So the bottom part rotates to the left. The top rotates to the right, okay? All right, so bottom part to the left, uh, top part to the right, and then that's going to basically line up, like, this little shelf over here. Now, here's the thing. If you go too far to the right, you're gonna see, you see how that sticks out a little bit? So that's going to give you a hard time going in. So it's so so it's 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 kind of all the way to the right, but just short of it, so that it rotates it, it, so that it lines up. Okay, but that that's a good starting point, right? So let's do that again. So this part here, I guess that's the cam, right? Goes in, rotates to the left. Top part rotates to the right, and then you're gonna have to back it up just a little bit. Now you see this part over here. You can see the bottom part. That's the part that runs over the hammer, right? You can see how that's worn out. You can see how that's worn out. That's got somewhere over there. This part here is going to go into that groove right there. Because you see it, you got your hammer here. You see like this little separator in the, in the center, right? So it's going to go into the left side, not the right one, the left one, okay? So the, the hard part here is, right, the two things that you got to, you know, basically these, um, these ears back here that stick out are going to basically drop in behind the rails back here right so that's going to drop in behind the rails back there they're going to get underneath these uh these little rails right and it's going to go forward and then you got to basically match up this part here to the left side of that little cutout right over there okay so that's how we're going to do this okay so put this on the table make sure you guys can see the gun Same deal. So bottom rotates to the left, top rotates to the right. I'm gonna put that there, get the back in, and push down. Now here's the thing, you see this part here? This part here that want, doesn't want to be there, that has to be on the inside of the gun, basically. So, so it, the thing is, it, it can be a little difficult to get this on the inside, because that, this rides on top of your rail. 
But what I find is that when that goes on the inside, this side pops out. So you got to find the right balance of being able to get that on the inside and then not have your rails pop out. And then also rotate. Here's the thing. You, you, you see the, the, the top of the bolt here that goes back and forth? You may have to play with that back and forth to get it to go where it's supposed to go. So that's on the inside now. I'll move the camera back just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so we're on the inside, both sides of this. Make sure your safety is down because if your safety comes up, that can that can cause some interference. That down. Get you on the inside, get you on the outside, give you a little rotation here, and push forward as you're doing this. See that popped on the outside of that rail now. Now you're on the inside, you're on the inside. There it goes. Okay. This is a major pain. Yes, that was the easiest I ever got this to go in. Okay. Uh, usually, like I said last time, last night it took me about... 30 minutes to get that to go in, get finding that right rotation. Um, and uh, earlier, I, basically I was practicing with that. It took me another 20 minutes to try and get that to go in. And uh, no, that, that was the fastest I ever got that to go in. Um, you know, in, in other words, I, I do this so infrequently. Let me bring you guys back up so you can see this. Back you up a little bit. So this is something I do so infrequently that I forget how to do it. So that's why I wanted to put this video out there. Uh, this way I have a video to come back to and look at how I get into it. Because the next time I get into this might be quite some time. I'm actually planning to get back into this gun right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the bulk carrier on this gun. Let's get you back out. So last night um, uh, I noticed... Uh, by the way, this this is the first Lynx 12 I bought. Uh, this is the one where the bolt, the tail of the bolt, broke at 11,000 rounds. I did a video on that. Uh, since then, I, I replaced it. There was a, a bit of fitting involved to get this to fit into the carrier. Did a video on that. Um, so now it's been now it's up to 15,000 rounds. So 4,000 rounds later, I'm looking at this at this bolt over here, and I'm seeing that there is wear on the tail over here that's not on the other on my other Lynx 12 okay uh, that one has all the wear actually on the on the head of the bolt which is obviously the thicker part whereas this one's showing more wear on the tail uh, and I was discussing it with somebody last night who see who's uh, 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 he actually um, it, it seems like he's a, like he's uh, more familiar with uh, one of the other AK um, uh, shotguns out there uh, but he seemed like he was very familiar with it. He had asked me to check the the receiver to make sure it was straight, because he was his thoughts were that maybe the um, that maybe the uh, the receiver was bent and that was the reason why the bolt broke. But uh, he he believed he, when he looked at the video last night, he said that this receiver was straight. Uh, but when I pointed out the wear on the bolt, um, he thinks that the hole in here was drilled less than perfectly straight and that's putting stress on the bolt and that's the reason why this bolt broke um and i'm inclined to agree with him i think that's the reason why the bolt broke why it broke on this one why i didn't break on my other one which has the same round count that also has fifteen thousand rounds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change out i'm going to change this this bolt carrier i have a spare right because i've been buying spares because on my sega 12 this is the part that broke right i got two sega 12s right now that i commissioned uh, because the bolt broke on them, uh, the bolt carrier broke on it. It broke at the point, at this point over here where the piston attaches to the carrier. This is a much improved design because on this one, instead of it, the two pieces connecting up there, they connect back here. So, so, and I don't see any cracking or any stress on this carrier. So, the Lynx 12 fixed the weak point 
on the Sega 12. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get one of my uh, spare carriers and I'm gonna put that into this gun. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna what this other person suggests is I basically take a sharpie, mark this, and run it back and forth and see if it starts showing similar wear um, as I manually uh, charge it. So uh, some ideas for you guys. Uh, so yeah, pay attention to your bolt. See if it's wearing out on the tail anywhere over there because that might be an indication that the hole in the carrier was is not drilled perfectly straight. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get notifications of the new videos I put up. Also in the, in the, in the comments below, I'm going to put a... Um, a link to this the uh, the Lynx 12 playlist, right? Because at this point, I, I got I don't know some 20 plus videos on the Lynx 12, so you can go to that that uh, playlist, and you that basically is going to have all the videos grouped together on the Lynx 12, and you can scroll through it, and you can look for you know different categories or, or titles uh, that might interest you. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Hit the bell button so you get notifications of new videos.